is back with you on the Big Money Show, here to take you through the next hour. Brian? Yes, David, good to see you again, and thanks very much. Hello, everyone. I'm Brian Brenberg. I'm Jackie DeAngelis. And I'm Taylor Riggs. Welcome to the Big Money Show. Hey, and Tony, on important jobs days mm -hmm. like today. Thank you. All right, joining us Martin. now, you are bringing a heck of a lot of fight today. I love it. <laughs> I, uh, I hope a little bit of that fight can carry over to our Vikings this weekend hey, against the we've Giants. We've got the Giants on, sa on Sunday, Brian, and that doesn't look too good. So i got to bring something while we still can control it. I, I, I think we need you on that offense for the Vikings, but that's for another day. Good to see you, sir. Thanks for Sign being with up. us. See All right. All right, and this him running for president, right. which is really quite interesting. So we'll continue to watch that story. But, of course, we've got a big... On loose on this one. <laughs> Hillary Vaughn, yeah. great report. Good to see you. <laughs> Thanks. All right. And joining us now, Sean Duffy. Duffy. Very diplomatic of you. Sean Duffy, always yes. great to see you. We will all be watching. <laughs> Thank you, Jackie. Of course. Um, be sure to tune in to the second up. DOJ right. antitrust case against Google here in the U.S. The trial starts Monday. So for me, this is global regulators that don't like big tech and they don't like big business right now. I don't yeah. think they like American companies. I mean, they just treat Big American place. Now the UK wants to sue them, and we sue them here at home. And I, you don't even have to love Google. You can hate what they do on speech, but why do we want to tear down the success stories of American capitalism here? I mean, if you think about what we've talked about so far during the show, whether it be specific stocks and the tech sector coming down, or this kind of um, the Google antitrust case, or if we're talking about around lay off those regulations, you know, shore up the size of the government, let capitalism work right. and flow again. Um, and that's where he brought up AI the other day in his comments at the Economic Club, yep. being the future, wanting to invest in these things. I mean, we can just watch the NASDAQ keep going down if Kamala Harris is president or we can try to revive yeah things. what company are they gonna tee up next and take a swing at because they're supposed to be a monopoly I have a good one for you in my next stock market Ooh, check Ooh, that's kind of like a deep, deep tease. tease all right coming up anti -Israel. a lot of courage to share this but I want to start with your experiences Ellie the antagonism on campus was hitting you Yes. So as I mentioned last night, I school and you're already set back just by sharing yeah. your concerns about the campus. Shoshan, I know uh, also first year student at Barnard uh, and, and what's happening on campus hit you from day one. Yes, um, I was also quoted in Eliana's article. So while I did not receive um, like it's anti-American, the way Jews are being persecuted in this country. Um, I'm wondering if you're feeling that and where you think that comes from. So you hit the nail on the head. This isn't a Jewish issue. Six that was recently just executed yes. mm -hmm. in a terror tunnel in Rafa. So you sit here and you're talking about ceasefire deals and this notion that you know people are saying the administration and Benjamin Netanyahu should be more proactive about trying to come up with a ceasefire deal with Hamas. These are people who are holding right. people to right. execute them. Right. And bringing it back close to home as well, we're getting wild reports that one of the spokeswomen for the group that overtook and occupied Hamilton Hall is now, let me get this right, teaching a required course on Western civilization in Hamilton Hall. Yeah, I find it wildly ironic. This is a woman who... Barnard, during part of Columbia University. This is a dream of yours. You're here. You're already experiencing this. Maybe just tell us... What would you like to see? What would be helpful to give you the sense that you might be able to have a real, honest university experience where you're going to college now? Um, I'd appreciate it if, yeah. Beyond that, I think one thing we saw last so semester, it seems that the administration isn't actually doing anything to say this is wrong. Right. And with no consequences, you give them the green light to say, well, nothing's going to happen. It's kind of like the criminals in New York That's City. Right. Nothing's going to happen, so I'll keep doing yep. it. And New exactly. York City has a role in this as well. The AG, the mayor, et cetera. Uh, Eliana and Shoshana, thank you for being here. Thanks for your courage. And we do wish you the very best this year. We hope things do get better and quickly. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Thank, thank you for having you. Us. Meanwhile, items that are up for sale. Yes. Available. And they're all personal Reagan documents. Tell us what you've got here. They show the president and the religious response to the close to the passing of a close friend. And at the end, he says something which is just touching. It is touching. And, uh, you know, part of his character, if you've read about him or the movie that's out about him now, they really try to highlight the fact that he was like a good human being, um, which you can get the sentiment in these notes. But um, timing wise of this auction, is there, you know, we're 60 days out of an election. Um, 
that movie was just released. Many times I hear, hear anecdotes that people want to put their money in a good store of value, something that will grow my money and keep up with inflation. That's been art, NFTs, mm -hmm. collectibles, special items. Do you see that, whether inflation is high or whether we've talked about today, the rate of inflation is slowing, people still have interest in storing their money to keep up with inflation in collectibles like these? I think there's something to that, sheet of paper, um, which mm. individually is worth cents. But the fact that Reagan touched it and put his thoughts yeah. in it. Ooh, you know, Love so it. maybe this is for you, Taylor. You want to get in. Nathan, great stuff. Thanks for sharing this with Thank us. Thank you today. for having me. Appreciate it. Meanwhile, we've talked a lot on this show about the equity market, certainly under pressure, but I also just wanted to look at the bond market. everybody Whoa. I don't watch football I don't spend any money on this so now not only are they really charging crazy prices for you to be able to watch it then you get to see all these shots of Taylor Swift at the Chiefs game in red knee highs and a midriff oh you don't like that I will show you <laughs> but you can get these games on the phone. I asked Taylor this. She wants to watch every game. The out of market game. You what, what are you like a fantasy football player? Let's see a 49ers game unless it's like playoffs or something. Rarely. So that's why you need the full okay. package to get all of the out of markets games. Go out and smell the roses in New York City and Go take Niners. a walk in the park and okay. Yeah. Fine. Two hours. Well, Charles can turn something around the next hour at least, and he knows 50 basis points might make sense. Charles, off to you. All right. We got a great, great show for everyone. Thank you all very much.